what up y'all i just wanted to show y'all what i found on the tiktok shop girl y'all are gonna want this all up in my car golly why did he hit the back of my car like bam like that <laughs> Anyway, I am trying to drop off some packages. Y'all, wait a minute. Let me clean this real quick. And, y'all, this is what I found on the TikTok shop. Girl, y'all got to get this. This is a 4-in-1 charger. Okay? I had to get this because somebody broke mine. Okay? Um. Oh, my God. I didn't know this part moved. Oh, my God. I didn't even know this part moved. So, yeah. Oh, my God. It moves. Just in case, like, you know, however your charger port is in your car. Anyway, so there's two actual chargers in here, y'all. Okay? That, you know, come out where you don't have to use your charger from your house. Um, and then if you do have to use your charger, it's more than one person or more than, let's see, four people can charge their phones on here. Two will already have a charger and then these two right here. And I heard that they're either for that... Um, it could be for iPhone or uh, Android. So you just gotta find whichever one fits your phone. Anyway, so yeah, I got that, honey, and it is amazing. I'm just using it today, and it works amazingly. And this this uh, comes out really far, you know what I'm saying? Like, And then you, um, it's like retractable. So when you don't want it in here anymore, it's used the trash now. Um, it, it retracts back in there. Just amazing, y'all. Absolutely amazing. Uh-oh. Girl, this is a... I need to clean out this little thing right here. God damn it. Bring your ass. There we go. There we go. And I bent it this time. And so it's sitting up like that way. I love it. Anyway, go Y'all, I just wanted to show y'all something super neat that I noticed on this uh, pepper plant here. Uh, and uh, I need to find out when am I supposed to pick these peppers, y'all. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, what is that on oh, my pepper? I know somebody said that if you can, like, easily take them off of the... Um, the stem then they're ready but anyway i just wanted to show y'all this though y'all see that literally there's no stem and it's a pepper like i don't know how to explain but this there okay so it starts off like this with a stem and a flower but this one didn't start off like that I don't know, I just wanted to show y'all that because I've never seen that before. But yeah, I just thought that was super neat. At first, it was just a flower with no stem, y'all. It was a flower right here. I was like, is that about to be a pepper? And yeah, that's what happened. Anyway, wasps, for some reason, love this plant. And I just let them do what they gotta do. Um, randomly, these leaves, you know, get uh, yellow and fall off. I heard that was normal. So I just let it do what it got to do. I just had to water her again for the, how many times did I water her today? Twice already. I'm probably going to have to water her two more times before this day is over with, y'all. It's that hot. I water her like twice a day um, because her leaves start to fold up and she gets upset because it's so hot, y'all. Um, let's check on our other tomato plant. Yeah, like I told y'all this weekend, I'm going to be pruning this plant like freaking crazy. Um, it doesn't look like we have any more blooms anywhere unless they're hiding like this one was hiding. Y'all, I was watering this plant. I'm like, what? I was like, 
dang i haven't gotten any watermelons from this daggone plant and what i did get died already right so i'm looking and a lot of times y'all they are hiding because i don't think they want to be in the sun like that i bet y'all can't see nothing but look there's look at how big it is y'all like this mug's been growing can y'all see that it's right there it's been growing i just thought that was super neat um that's the only one i see that's that big at least it might be some more growing, honey, but I'm gonna let it do its thug sizzle. And y'all, uh, hold on. Something I've been doing wrong that I'm not doing anymore is when I'm spraying my water, I be hitting the leaves. And you're not supposed to spray the leaves, y'all. Because you spray the leaves and then the sun hits and it's like it's frying the leaves. And that's why some of my leaves are yellow because of that okay anyway oh we do we have another watermelon on this plant but she's a baby so it's possible that she could die but look yeah they just don't be lasting long for some reason where is she she's right there <coughs> right there then we got some premature flowers y'all on this little watermelon <laughs> Plant. We've never gotten flowers this early on a watermelon plant that's just growing. Just, you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't been growing that long. But it has two flowers on it. I was shocked. None of these other ones that he planted that are young have flowers. Like, none of them. Even this little tiny little bee. <laughs> none of them have flowers. Like this one is bigger than that one over there and it doesn't have not one flower. So, yeah, let me check this one, see if it needs any. Oh, and this is how she is doing. She's so big and healthy, love it. Uh, let me see if they need water. Nope, they don't need no water. Yeah, I be having to uh, water my watermelon plants more than once a day. Also, y'all. Oh God, it's hard. So, and y'all, I don't know where those plants are that I had <laughs> planted right here. Um, y'all, I don't know if this is what I planted or not right here. I'm not even sure. I can't even remember the spot, y'all. I could have swore that it was right here in this area. But anyway. Um, oh, I got one growing right here. But like I said, all of the ones on this plant have died. All of them. All right, this one's still hanging on. Right there. Can y'all see that? Because I can't see because the sun is shining so bright see this needs to be taken off of here this one right here it's all burnt up it literally needs to be cut off of here and i'm gonna cut it off <sighs> then we have her so we only have two it looks like on here that's a lot right now but yeah i'm gonna do some more pruning though this weekend and these little bugs right here love just to sit on them. Are they like eating something? What is going on? Hold up. Where is it that? I mean, sometimes it'd be three of them on one little bitty watermelon just sitting there. And I don't know what the purpose is. So, anyway. <sighs> Girl, I don't know why <laughs> this tomato plant is doing so well. <laughs> Very much strange. It's getting new leaves and everything. Makes me happy. Strawberry plants, I'm done. But for some reason, I don't wanna like trash them right now. 
because the leaves are so pretty. But it looks like a worm has gotten to these because it wasn't like that before. Yeah. This tomato plant still hasn't put out nothing yet. It don't even have no flowers that are alive right now. So, I don't know about this one. It looked like it's thirsty though with them folded up leaves. This one is doing its stuff, this one. That one right there. Okay. But all that bug stuff on it, the, the worms haven't been eating uh, those uh, leaves as much. Now I put all that powder on it. So. Yeah, everybody's doing good. Up in this, I was trying to, I had took a little um, leaf off of that uh, zucchini plant and put it right here. And it said no, so. <laughs> so it's, when I um, treated this one with that powder stuff, uh, and I killed the worm. It doesn't look like there was another one in here, y'all, because it's growing new leaves. This is the uh, cayenne pepper plant. So I want this plant so bad, y'all. Hopefully, it grows and grows and grows and produces fruit. What's up, y'all? So we are having spaghetti squash, but guess what? We are having shrimp and crawfish spaghetti squash. I can't freaking wait to make it. So I got my spaghetti squash right here and we're just about to cut it down the middle. If girl, cause it is super hard to do. And hopefully you can get it right in the middle because a lot of times it is hard to get it right in the middle. But, ooh, oh, this one's much easier than the last one. Okay, oh, we did it. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is clean all of this stuff out and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, that was the easiest one to gut because last time it was not easy to gut. And preheat your oven, y'all, to 350. And this is going to cook until like mm, for 45 minutes to an hour. I think last time I kept it in there for an hour. Um, Y'all already know I gotta pull out some pots. It's been marinating in the stove. All right, so. Ooh. Okay, so we're preheating right now. Now, next, we are going to use some avocado oil to put on the inside of these. And you're gonna massage that oil all on the inside. And the outside. Do it for both of them. Ooh, we hardly no oil in there. Yeah, I'm getting this done early because y'all right now I'm trying to do my video early. All right, so once you got it all on the outside and the inside, you're gonna season it with whatever you want to season it with. Let me wash my hands. So I'm going to use some Tony's. <coughs> and honestly, y'all, you could keep the seasoning for this part real simple. <coughs> oh my God. Excuse me. 
pepper. Then we're gonna take <coughs> a pan just like this, put both of these on there, stick them in the oven, okay? 350 for about 45 minutes to an hour until you see that it this is the brown and it's cooked, okay? So mine is going in now. And we're gonna make the sauce after I'm done getting dressed because I want everything to be nice and fresh. Y'all remember the leftover onion, the jalapeno from yesterday? You got to use it right now. Okay. <clears throat> Chop up some onions. We're gonna go ahead and make our sauce right now, y'all. I just changed my mind. Because when I come down here, after I get dressed, I'm not gonna wanna cook too much. I'm just gonna wanna put it in the oven and melt the cheese on top because <coughs> I'm definitely doing that this time. <coughs> also. So, of course, we're gonna have to shred some cheese. But right now in the pan, we're about to put these onions, some to diced tomatoes, and some garlic. But I'm gonna uh, cook the onions first, and then I'm gonna put the garlic in there because I don't want it to burn. So we're gonna put all of this in the pan. We're gonna put a little bit of oil in here. Avocado oil. Let me get some wooden to stir with. So, we'll go ahead and put our onions in. And it depends on how much you're making, how many onions you're going to have, or whatever. I need to peel these shrimp. These are the shrimp. I mean, I think these are jumbo. These are the other crawfish tails. And I'm not even gonna use all these crawfish tails because I'm literally just making it for me. And as far as the um, tomatoes go, you can dice some tomatoes up if you want to, but I'm just gonna use this pico de gallo that I have left over and it has tomatoes in it. So I think it's gonna be good, honestly. So, cook these down a little bit and then oh shoot y'all make sure y'all have your borosine cheese make sure you have it don't matter which one you got just make sure you got one i don't really think it matters with the flavor but this is the garlic and herb one which is the perfect one to use for this dish You're also gonna need some heavy whipping cream. So get that too. Heavy whipping cream. And y'all already know what we gonna season this with. <laughs> Chicken bouillon, baby. All right, let me cook these onions down. All right, y'all, they cook down enough. Add some minced garlic. You can chop some garlic if you want to. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of minced garlic. Minced garlic. Add some of this fresh pico de gallo. Minus the lime juice. We just really trying to get the tomatoes.
take our borsin cheese. We're going to put the whole thing in there. Just like that. Turn the heat down. heavy whipping cream. Mm. I have ever much like you need to add for however much you're making. I added what is this? About half of this. And this is one quart. Chopping up that cheese so it can melt. I think I need some more cream. Yeah, I'm just eyeballing. <clears throat> Chicken bouillon. This is all I'm using, y'all, to season it, honestly. Um, maybe some smoked. Maybe some smoked. Um, wait, I want mine to be spicy, so of course we're gonna add some cayenne. And some smoked. Chili powder, wherever it freaking is. I swear, I purposefully put that chili powder. I mean, um, not chili powder. Is this it? Y'all. Now, where the flip is it? I literally put it somewhere where I. Here we go. Smoked paprika. I said chili powder. Smoked paprika, y'all. Now, we're going to let this simmer. And you can season yours with whatever you want to season yours with. This is just what I prefer. And after this melts all the way down and simmers and gets all those flavors together, then we're going to add our seafood. Then and only then... Oh shoot, I forgot about the um, spinach. Add your spinach. This is all I got, so this is all I'm adding. Yes, I had mine in the freezer. Perfect place to put this so it won't get old. I'm about to finish 
shells off of the shrimp. And I'm just gonna add these shrimp, y'all. I'm not about to be seasoning them because they're gonna be sitting in sauce, so I don't think it really matters. The shrimp are gonna be added last. So probably after I get ready. But I'm gonna go ahead and add the crawfish to it now. This is going to be delicious. this bag because like I said more than likely I'm probably gonna be the only one eating it I don't know because Layden already got something to eat and Marsha I don't know you know what he might want some because he said that he's eating seafood so hopefully he does because I'm gonna have another half of a, a spaghetti squash available for whoever wants it <clears throat> So we're gonna let that melt. But yeah, we're not gonna add the shrimp until after I'm done getting ready. And keep this on simmer. Oh, I'm so sorry, I forgot the cheese. So in here I have smoked Gouda, mozzarella. What did I put in that mixture yesterday? This is what that is, y'all, okay? So you're gonna have to shred some more to um, put it on top. Oh yeah, smoked gouda Oaxaca. Smoked gouda Oaxaca and mozzarella, okay? And some Parmesan. Let's use the rest of it. top of mine I'm gonna add um, I think just some mozzarella on top yeah we gotta wait for these to get ready too so they're still in there so yeah keep this on low 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 So we got everything in there, so just let it thicken up. Hi guys, this is the two piece set today. When I tell y'all, if y'all like this, you better go get it now because they're going to sell out of this outfit. I promise you. This is their, like, this is TikTok shop, ethnic print, uh, two piece skirt set. The skirt goes past my ankles, y'all. Look at that. And I have on my Rothy's. These are Red Mary Janes. Y'all, these are the most comfortable shoes I have ever put on my feet. I'm so glad I freaking got them. I got them from my ad, y'all, on TikTok shop. I mean, on TikTok. 
And girl, this is one of the best purchases I've ever made, honestly. They weren't cheap, but they're cute and comfortable. Okay, anyway. So yeah, it's like navy blue, cream, and a little bit of gray in there. This is what the back look like, okay? And it's just cute, y'all. It's a size medium. Oh, let's go ahead and put our shrimp in our sauce. Go ahead and do that now. And I just have the stove on low. And they'll cook in just a few minutes. Our spaghetti squash is still in the oven. Um, it's almost ready. Almost ready. Oh, shoot, let me press this again. Yeah, yeah, I was smart this time. It made some ice. Let me see if there is any. Cause it wasn't none last night at all. See, ain't none today either. I'm so glad I thought about it earlier today and just hit that button on the ice machine. Y'all, that weather is starting. It's starting, y'all. Y'all know that hurricane is coming to the Gulf. It's coming to Galveston, like it's it's coming for us. It's supposed to hit at like a level three on, I believe they said Monday, but the rain has started, it's like dark outside. Uh oh, the winds is coming. Like it's just starting. Y'all, oh my God. It's just now starting. Oh my God, and I've already <laughs> watered my plants, but they gonna love this rain water, honey. They probably needed it. Hopefully my watermelons get a burst of growth. But I just hope everybody is gonna be good and not fall over or nothing crazy. Oh my gosh. I hope it don't get no worse than this. I remember how uh, the folks out here in Houston said we don't have nothing to worry about. Oh yes we do. Yes we do. I'm just chopping up a uh, um, cucumber. I heard, I heard that my cucumbers are yellowing like this because of the heat. It ain't no other freaking reason. None. But guess we're gonna still eat though. That green on the inside. <laughs> yeah. Put them right on the plate. Y'all, my sauce is so good. Did y'all taste y'all sauce? Make sure you taste it for flavor. Girl, it is out of control. I do me out of control. Let me check. Sauce. Okay, we're gonna turn the heat up so this uh, shrimp can cook. Shrimp. I had to turn this heat up so we can go ahead and cook that. Um, I'm just gonna sit my zucchini squash right here. Um, I might have to put this somewhere else if it don't fit. Maybe I should. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, ice machine still going, so we'll have the amount of ice that we need. Let me go turn on my lights and stuff. Yeah, it is out of control outside <laughs> right now. It is raining hard. Oh, get out of here. Do, 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 do. Okay, y'all, it's time. It's time. Mm. See, that's what they should look like. Now they could be a little browner than this if you want, but I think this is fine. For me, 
Okay. You don't have what? No. Mmm. Maybe there's some juice up in here. Let me pour that out. Okay. So the one I'm gonna use is this one right here. Let me get a fork just to make sure everything is everything. Yeah, everything is everything. We're good. Wait a minute, let me see about this one. This one's good too. Okay. And do we want to put our cucumbers right here? Or do we want to put them back here? Because I don't be wanting y'all to see that on the camera. Yeah, I'm going to just keep them back there. Our fork ready. Oh, y'all, shoot. I almost forgot. We got to melt this. So, I need to turn this oven back on, girl. So, we're going to put the filling in right now. adult kids that still live with them let me know in the comments are they still acting like they're eight years old <laughs> let me know because girl i literally just cannot i cannot all right so we're gonna go ahead and ladle we're gonna ladle this in here and then we're gonna put it back in the oven i almost forgot all right so we had a bit of an interruption all right make sure you grab you some crawfish and shrimp oh man some of this juice out so I could get some crawfish in there. Now it's probably gonna drip. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be good. You know what y'all? Maybe I should do both of them because it seems like I don't know. I think I want to do both. Both. We're gonna do both, y'all. Okay, it'll probably spill. Now, what we're gonna do? I can't help you. What you need, Leia? What's going on? This is our cheese that we shredded. This is mozzarella, and that is it. Thank God I made enough, y'all. It's gonna go over both of these. Leia, stay from over there. 
stay from all stop messing with my lights y'all oh my god Leave it alone, Leia. I'm not playing with you and stop telling me to delete stuff on my camera. I'm about to put this in the oven and let this cheese melt. All right, y'all. It is nice and melted. Yes. Oh my gosh. And brown. I need to let it sit a little bit, honestly, but I'm gonna hurry up. Ooh. Okay. Um. That is hot. Y'all, it is going down outside. Let me make sure my stuff. Oh my God. Oh, Nothing falls. Only one of my plants is like really in danger of falling. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, it's hot. Yeah, I'm not gonna eat both of them, but it just—it's gonna look better. It's gonna fill the plate up. You know what I mean? We got them on there. All right. Now let's make up a drink. Let me go over here and get me some ice real quick. Thank God. I pressed the button, girl. Ooh, we made a lot of ice, too. Ooh, looks like you can fill the whole thing up. Like, <laughs> it is out of control. Did I straighten it up? Yeah, I did. Okay. Water. Strawberry watermelon flavor. some homemade shrimp and crawfish spaghetti squash. Doesn't that look delicious? We have some uh, cucumbers from our garden. Look at that, who loves spaghetti squash? Delicious. And we are drinking strawberry watermelon flavored water today. Uh -huh. Yes, y'all, who ready for this mug vine? <laughs> 